how to find the surface area of a regular pyramid. In this case, a regular pyramid has four slanted faces on the sides, and then we have one on the bottom. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is find the length of each side and the base. And in this case, since we're told it's a regular pyramid, we can assume that once, once we know the area of one of these faces, we know that all the others are the same. And that's where this 4 comes in on the equation, because we have 4 of them, we can just multiply by 4. So in this case, we're given the side length is 5 and the base is 6. Sometimes you will get the length of this here, which is actually incorrect. That would be even longer than the side. Okay, so that's there to trick you. You don't want that. You want the one that is perpendicular from the base side here. Okay? Alrighty. So in this case, we have 5 inches as the side length and 6 as the base. Okay. So now we substitute into our somewhat intimidating equation, okay? So we have base times height times one half. That's just the area of a triangle, right? Now we're going to multiply it by four because we have four triangles at the top. Okay, so that's all that is. And then we have our base. And in this case our base is a square. Okay? So that's just six times six, because six times six. Area of a square is side times height. Okay, so then I went ahead and simplified a little bit. So this becomes 30 here for the 630. 6 times 6, 36. Simplify that more, I get 15 here. Alright. So then you add up the stuff. Here we go, 60 plus 36 is 96. Okie dokie. Last step that people forget very frequently is to write the units. Now, remember, this is surface area here. Area means the units are squared. Okay, they're not cubed unless we get a volume and they're not to the first power because it's not a length. These are two-dimensional units so it should be squared. Okay, so surface area means squared units. Don't forget that. Alrighty, and that completes our problem.